Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fatni Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, if there's something that you guys want us to react to, drop the link or the name down below, and we'll be more than glad to react to it. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, befriend us, say hi, we'll say hi back. And uh, suggest up there as well if you're too shy to suggest anything here. You can find our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we actually put out. And suggest stuff you want to see there as well. So today I'm going to be reacting to the devil's final words on Judgment Day. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. People will look for shaitan, they'll find him. There he is. Iblis. Habis. <laughs> Grab hold of him. Yeah, let's, let's tear him apart. It's him. Him. So they'll come to him and they'll say, Iblis. Yeah, Mr. Big Man. The biggest of all big men, Mr. Big Man. You're the one who led all of, the, all of us to Jahannam are going today because of you. He's going to say, you know, Iblis. Iblis is... Uh, Iblis is crafty, but you want to see how crafty is on the Day of Judgment. He's going to say this. Allah gave you a promise and I gave you a promise. Allah gave you the promise of the Quran and I gave you a promise of whispering into your minds and your hearts. Allah told you, you will get Jannah for this. I told you, don't worry about it. Just do it. Just do it. It's nice, man. It's nice. Enjoyable, man. Enjoy. What? I said that to you. وَعَدْتُكُمْ فَأَخْلَفْتُكُمْ I gave you a whisper in your heart and I promised you don't worry, don't worry about it. You didn't listen to Allah but you listened to me. فَلَا تَلُومُونِي وَلُومُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Who are you going to blame? You're going to blame me for leading you to Jahannam as you led yourself. You had the choice to believe the Rahman or the Shaitan and you chose the Shaitan over the Rahman. So don't come to me today telling me what I should do for you. Ma ana bi musrikhikum wa ma antum bi musrikhi. You cannot save me today and I cannot save you today. I cannot come to your rescue today. You can't come to my rescue today. We both here. We both here in Jahannam. Basically what his motto is, now we're even Stephen. Because Shaitan wants that. He wants us to go to Jahannam. We know that uh, Satan um, made a pledge with God or declared himself arrogantly that he is going to build up the hopes of human beings uh, such that they will turn away from God. He would lead them away uh, from the worship of the one God. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we know more generally is that Satan uh, builds up the hopes of human beings for a long life in this world. Uh, and uh, ultimately that uh, they will have uh, good uh, in this life regardless of whether uh, they worship God or not. So he promises them immortality together with immorality. When the final judgment is made and God um, uh, reveals his power and his control, that is when people will realize that uh, Satan has uh, beguiled them and uh, Satan himself will now confess. Uh, I, uh, I made a promise to you and that was a false promise. God has made a promise to you, that was the true promise. But uh, Satan also defends himself against blame because now people know the, the, the score and they begin to blame Satan. You are the one who misled us. Mm -hmm. But uh, Satan's response to that is, do not blame me, but blame yourselves. The extent of my work was only that I uh, gave you this promise and, and you obeyed, you, you followed. Mm -hmm. uh, so don't blame me, blame your yourselves. And in the end, even if you were to blame Satan, Satan says, I'm not able to respond to your cries, nor would you be able to respond to my cries. Mm -hmm. And certainly for the wrongdoers, there is a painful punishment. What an interesting video. Um, 
I think most of us are old enough to understand that there is good and there is bad. We can choose to be kind, we can choose to be rude, we can choose to be uh, helpful or stingy. Uh, we can choose to be believers, non-believers. It's a choice that we or I as a person have to make or you as a person have to make without anyone having to force you. Um, at the end of the day, I feel like the more good things you do in life, the more kind you are in life, you kind of attract that energy to you. You attract good things, you attract kind people, adjust nice things towards you. But then if you want to live a life that's just bad, you don't care. <laughs> There's always something flying by. Like you don't care, they, you're going to get the same same energy that you're putting out there. Is that what you want for yourself? I don't think so. In that moment, you may feel like it's the right thing that you're doing. I don't know. Otherwise, you have to feel what you're doing. Should I slap my sister today? How am I going to feel the day she slaps me? That's so what I'm causing pain. Do you understand? And I'm making her just feel bad. It's the same as uh, the, the devil whispering something to you. You know you shouldn't do this thing, but there you are skipping off to do that bad thing. You don't care the repercussions. You don't care how it's affecting others around you. You just don't care. I don't think you can live in this world without caring. It's not okay. It's not right. But then again, no one makes that choice for you. It's you. Because you already know this is not right. It's you to choose to go through that or not through that, you know. And um, imagine how stressful it would be on Judgment Day when you want to beat up the devil, but then the devil is like skipping around, having fun because now you're in hell together. He's not lonely. Yeah, in hell, and he's telling you it's your fault that you decided to go with what I told you to go with. I can't even begin to think of the trauma that comes with that. Because what do you do? Even if you beat up the devil, you'll still stay in hell because you chose that life for yourself. No matter what you plot against the devil, you'll still be there. That's why if we're watching this, video the original video my reaction whatever the case is we have time have time to be good people in this world we have time to do great things in this world let's not be selfish let's not be unkind and we're not islands in this world let's connect with other people let's help other people let's do what we can for other people but then first let's be good to ourselves and good to others once you're good to yourself you always be good to the outside world. Once you treat yourself well, you always treat the outside very, very well. That's one thing that we should keep in mind with us. Um, otherwise, concerning this video, I'd freak out. If the devil was saying it's your fault, I'd, you'd end up thinking like you wasted your time doing those things when you could have just been a good person. So why not be a good person or better person today, you know? Let me know what you think about this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Please, guys, motivate us by giving us stuff to react to. Drop the names or the links down below, and we'll be more than glad to react to them. And yeah, I'll see you.